Oh, definitely come in person. Oh my gosh, no. If you have the option to go to a conference, go in person. That's the whole point of conferences. Hello, my name is Neil, and I'm from Australia. Thank you. Please keep your seats. Last year, I gave a lightning talk about how Australia is going to take over the world and C++. <laughs> Turns out, it's a bit harder than we thought. Who knew estimating is so difficult? So I don't have an update for you on that, but something happened to me on the way over here that I just had to share with you. You see, soon after takeoff, the plane entered a circling uh, holding pattern due to some bad weather. We could see this on our screens in front of us. So I got chatting to a young family next to me, some parents and some young kids aged between maybe five and seven, call it six. And the kids were on their tablets, uh, playing with the games and using their apps and I was on my laptop doing some work, and they asked me what I was doing, and I said, I'm a software developer. And they didn't quite get it, so their parents explained it, and they said, to explain it, they said, he makes apps for your tablets. And their eyes lit up, <laughs> and they looked up at me and said, gee, thanks, mister. <laughs> I wish you'd all been there, it was so beautiful. I honestly, I, I felt like a proxy for all developers. And then this young little girl, she said something to me that I will never forget. She said, and thanks for using a native programming, pr programming language, <laughs> which lets you work close to the metal, minimize memory usage, and save my device's battery. And I thought, wow, this is amazing and an oddly specific compliment. And then the little boy added, he said, and thanks for using a statically typed programming language, which gives you all the power and expressiveness of types and enables zero overhead abstractions. And I was like, before I could say anything, he said, and thanks for never, ever, ever using a C-style cast. <laughs> then they looked back down at the tablets back up at me, and I forget if they were iPads or Android devices, but if anyone wants to talk product placement, I'm sure I could remember for the next time I tell this story. And then the little girl said, and thanks for using modern language features, like smart pointers and move semantics. And by the way, values are way sicker than references. Yeah, that's how the kids talk. And then the little boy added, and thanks for using static analysis and fuzzing and sanitizers in your CI builds. And by now, there's a, a bunch of other passengers were listening in. They're nodding their heads in agreement. And then this little girl says, and instead of writing raw loops, thanks for using algorithms that raise the level of abstraction and even offer better performance. And just then, the two kids, they look back at their screen and they see the plane circling, the plane looping around, and they both go in unison, that's a rotate. <laughs> well, you won't believe what happened next. The captain comes on over the intercom. The captain. And the captain says, ladies and gentlemen, are there any C++ developers on board? <laughs> the whole plane, a hushed silence of awe falls across the plane. I slowly raise my hand. The captain continues, because if so, we, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for writing safe C++ with all the best practices, because human lives are on the line. And the whole plane starts applauding, and I got a free upgrade from economy to first class. Which, to be honest, was lovely, because those kids were quite chatty, and I needed a break. Now, of course, that didn't actually happen. I'm sorry, it did not actually happen. But it could have. <laughs> It could have happened. Let's be those kinds of C++ developers. Thank you very much.